Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Good afternoon, I'm Keenan Smith. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel updated some major cases today saying she's committed to exposing the truth. She spoke about Michigan State University and former Dr. Larry Nasser and about two more athletic trainers who are accused of making false statements in that case. On the Flint water crisis, Nessel says Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy will now help in the investigation. 79 civil and eight criminal cases are pending. As for the case into the Catholic Church and alleged abuse by priests, 14 assistant attorney generals are now involved in the case and the team is reviewing hundreds of thousands of documents. Ford is teaming up with DTE Energy to produce locally sourced power through wind. As part of DTE's MI Green Power Program, Ford will use technology to power its Dearborn truck plant, Michigan assembly plant, and several buildings in Corktown, including the Michigan Central Station. They'll be powered by 100% locally sourced renewable energy. This is in addition to a solar power system that's already in place at Michigan Assembly. And potholes are causing sections of I-75 to crumble again, and Governor Gretchen Whitmer is preparing to unveil her plan to fix the roads. Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist was at the Detroit Athletic Club today to discuss the challenges that lie ahead. The players there talked about thinking beyond the short term and considering options for more than 50 years down the road. Now, meteorologist Kevin Jeans this afternoon will be near 40 degrees breezy today and then tonight it gets cold. The winds get lighter low at 20 tomorrow. Mostly sunny and near 40 degrees once again for an afternoon high Saturday rain showers begin to move into the afternoon will be light to start heavier rain and even a few thunderstorms possible Saturday evening and Saturday night Sunday. Very windy gusts over 40 miles per hour possible rain in the morning could change to a few brief snow showers by the afternoon drying out late in the day on Sunday. Keenan. All right, thank you very much, Kevin. Meyer is getting ready to take on the opioid crisis. The company just announced it's installing secure drug take back kiosks inside all of its stores. Meyer says customers can safely dispose of any unused or expired drugs free of charge, no questions asked. The CDC says more than 70,000 people died of drug overdoses in 2017. And doctors say a large part of the opioid crisis is people taking medicines from the medicine cabinets of friends and family members. Those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Head to WXYZ.com and download our free 7 Afternoon News anytime. I'm Keenan Smith. Have a great day. These have been your latest headlines and 7 First Alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.